us now. Living in the wilderness in the way of our forebearers. The feds used to think we needed their welfare and handouts to survive. We showed them how wrong they were. What we need now is a strong will, determination, and trust in each other. The feds were never gonna give us that. And you? You want our trust? Booze man, you awake? I'm uh, heading to that camp you spotted north of the mountain. Uh, I heard gunshots. Uh, it might be an ambush camp. Find out when I get there. Deacon out. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Radio Free Oregon is on the air once again. Oh, Jesus, what have I done? Set up along the railroad tracks. Kill every one of those sons of bitches. Hey, that was kind of the plan. Deacon out. Man, no. You know I wouldn't ride north without you. Yeah, yeah, I know. I just kind of out of it. Well, third degree burns will do that to you. Yeah. So, I'll take care. Of Come on! 
Come on. Good night. Deke. Oh, God damn it. I'm sick and tired of drifters coming in my camp, killing folk like we were out in the shit. What's going on, Cope? A man come in, drugged out of his mind, shot the place up, then he just took off. And he said his bike's got a red tank on it, and he was wearing some kind of motocross helmet, silver. Okay, if I go now, I might be able to catch up to him. I want him alive, Deke. Alive? Alive. You catch this man, then radio me. We'll fetch him and hang the bastard right from that limb. It's time we start showing these drifter sons of bitches that we have law and order in this camp. No offense meant to yourself. None taken. War, take my thoughts. Man, no. You know, I wouldn't ride north without you. Yeah, yeah, I know. I just kind of out of it. Oh, third degree burns will do that to you. Yeah. So, take care, Alvarez, you know. Deke, it means a lot to me. I'll take care of her, Boozer. Just get some rest. Deke and out.
the last of them. Finally. Boozer, it's done. I cleared those nests. Should be less freaks of the mouth from now on. Hey, Dig. How'd it go with her? Were there a lot of them? Yeah, but I wanted to clear him while it was still light out. You know how the sunlight bothers him. Yeah, that's, that's probably the way to do it. Right, anyway, well, thanks for, thanks for doing that, Deke. <sighs> Get some shut-eye, Boozer. Deacon out. St. John, this is Copeland. I haven't seen Boozer in a few days. He used to do runs for me, is all. I know you ride with him. I tried to radio him, can't seem to reach him. Well, you see him, you tell him to swing by and say hello to Copeland. I would much appreciate it. Copeland out. <laughs> 